All right, so this Hostinger review is for anyone trying to figure out whether Hostinger is actually a smart choice. In 2026, especially if you're running a blog, a small business site, or a simple online store, there's a lot of mixed opinions out there. So instead of hype, let's focus on what Hostinger really does well, where it falls short, and who it's best for. First, let's talk about performance. For a budget-friendly host, Hostinger hosting performance is surprisingly solid. Page load times are fast enough for most small websites, and uptime is generally reliable. If you're running a personal blog, a portfolio, or a basic e-commerce site, Hostinger can handle that traffic without issues. It's not built for massive enterprise-level sites, but for everyday use, it holds up well. Now, when people search for a Hostinger Review 2026, pricing is usually the main reason. Hostinger is known for offering very low introductory prices, especially on longer-term plans. That makes it appealing for beginners who don't want to spend a lot up front. However, like most hosting companies, renewal prices are higher than the initial deal. It's important to know that going in so there are no surprises later. Speaking of Hostinger pricing, the value really comes from choosing a longer plan. The monthly cost drops significantly when you commit for a year or more. If you're serious about keeping your site online long-term, that approach usually makes the most financial sense. Ease of use is another strong point. Hostinger's control panel is simple and clean, even if you've never built a website before. Installing WordPress, setting up email, and managing your files is straightforward. For beginners, that smooth setup process can make a big difference. So, is Hostinger worth it? For many people, yes, especially if you're just getting started. You get solid performance, low starting costs, and an interface that doesn't feel overwhelming. It's a good balance of affordability and usability. That said, no host is perfect. Looking at the Hostinger pros and cons, the biggest pro is clearly the price-to-performance ratio. You get more speed and stability than you'd expect at this price point. The biggest downside is customer support response times. While support is available 24 7 live chat responses can sometimes take longer than expected during busy periods. Another limitation is advanced features. If you're running a high-traffic e-commerce store or need custom server configurations, Hostinger may feel a bit limited. It's built more for small to medium projects rather than complex enterprise setups. For bloggers, freelancers, and small business owners, though, Hostinger fits the bill. You can launch a site quickly, keep costs low, and scale gradually as your traffic grows. That's why Hostinger continues to be popular with beginners. In real-world use cases, Hostinger works best for WordPress blogs, landing pages, service-based business sites, and simple online stores. If your goal is to get online without spending a lot and without dealing with complicated server settings, it's a practical option. So, here's the honest summary. Hostinger isn't the most powerful hosting platform on the market, but it doesn't try to be. It focuses on affordability, ease of use, and dependable performance for everyday websites. For most beginners and small projects, that combination is more than enough. If you want to check current pricing or see what plans are available, you can click the link in the pinned comment or the link in the description. That way, you can decide for yourself whether Hostinger is the right fit for your website in 2026.